Oops, sorry dear. I love the chat, but I have to go. Oh, can you give chase? You feel like coming along, I see. Goodness, my darling friend. Surely a pretty face like yourself shouldn't be forced to chase a petty criminal through these dirty streets. <gasps> you might do it in your visage. Well, trying to trip me up so I can get caught? Whatever happened to honor among thieves, hmm? <laughs> Still angry about me messing up your heist that one time? You got out of that mess. Icons just fine, didn't you? Hey! Surely you know better not to throw things at me that can be cut. I'm quite handy with a stagger, you know. Maybe it would have been better if you stayed out of this. Not because the guard thinks that you were in on this. What? <laughs> You really just tackled me through a window, huh? Oh, fine. You're, if you're so insistent on coming along, then. Come on, old friend. We better fly before these guards get here. Well, I suppose your plan to get me caught by the guards didn't work, eh, old friend? Oh, okay. That... that was just unfair. <laughs> Feel better than after that, huh? Well, if you need to vent your frustrations, I don't mind being your punching bag. Who knows? I might start to like it. Joking, please wipe that scary look off your face. You look much better when you smile. Oh well, the stain is a fine expression on you as well. I know you could have escaped from any prison those incompetent fools put you into, but you can't deny that it would have been the most inconvenient. We both have our wanted posters up, all over the kingdom, you know. Well, I do. Your wanted posters doesn't even have an illustration attached. Frankly, the fact that no one but me has managed to get a good look at you is quite an honor. If there's any thief worthy and nicknamed the ghost, it's most certainly you. Uh, hmm. The fact that you've allowed me to look at what's under that trademark hood and mask of yours must mean you think pretty highly of me. Or perhaps... You like me? Ah! Not falling for another punch! But look, we're essentially holding hands now, hmm? If you wanted to hold hands with me, you could have just asked. All right, all right. What did I steal this time that had the entire city guards chasing after me? Well, something that puts all your previous heists to shame. Oh my dear ghost, I don't lie, not to my fellow thieves. Since we've run into each other, should we visit the thieves' retreat together? I'll buy you a drink. Ha! <laughs> of course, ever since you made off with that precious wines with the Duke Atlas, your taste for old alcohol of the thieves' retreat must have warned. You'll never accept a drink from me? I seem to recall us having many nights drinking together while swapping stories. I quite miss your company on those cold, lonely nights. 
You make my time in this world just a little brighter, you know? Oh? I was under the impression that you liked my flirting. I may not be able to see much beneath that mask and hood, but I can hear the embarrassment in your lovely voice. Makes me want to tease you more. Hmm. <laughs> Fine. Then I suppose you don't want to hear about what I stole for all my client. Shockingly enough, this wasn't something I stole for the glory of it. I stole it just for someone who was willing to pay a pretty penny for it. So, you coming or not? <laughs> I knew you couldn't resist me. Ow! <laughs> okay, calm down. Calm down. Save your violence for when we spar. After traveling through the city suit so often, the stench has become a lot more tolerable, doesn't it? You're right. The rats are still a problem. But we're thieves, you and I. We know how to deal with a few rats. Literally. And metaphorically. Hmm, I cherish that memory dearly. Seeing you tear that traitor to the thieves' retreat part was exhilarating. Dear, I don't mean it that way. I'm just saying, I so rarely get to see you truly let loose. It reminds me that you're dangerous. You know how much I like danger. Hey, being a part of the thieves' retreat gives me the thrill I need more. Nick a few shinies, here and there. Take under the table commissions from now and then. I get to take my pick from all the adventures handed to me. It's a privilege for someone like me. Speaking of commissions... The thing I stole. I know I said I'll tell you over drinks, but... Well, you don't seem eager to accept a drink from me. No matter how eager I am to hear about your escapades. <sighs> I suppose I've been stoned wall by the ghosts themselves. What a shame. Hmm? Willing to accept something else in exchange of your stories? No, eh? No. What might that be? Aren't you a cheeky one? If I know you, I like to think that no one else knows you better. You'll coax me into buying a drink anyways. Black cat. Well, now here we are. I'm not due to deliver for a few more hours, so... This area is quiet enough. But first... Hey, barkeep! Two glasses of your finest, eh? Just got back from quite the heist. I'd love to unwind. I'll save it. You're gonna convince me effortlessly. So might as well buy you a pint now. Even if you didn't, you're simply too lovely to force you to go without a drink. Consider it a favor if that makes you feel better. Now then! Take a peek. Ah, that's the look of wonder and shock in your face. <gasps> Priceless. Shh. The ring of the Dragonic Prince and the ring of the Blazing Phoenix are not something one should speak so freely, even in a place like this. So if you're wondering what I stole, those little things almost cost me my arm. Oh, it's quite a trilling tale indeed. Ah, thank you, Izzy. Tell Marge that I'll pay my tab today, that she can smack me over the head with that rolling pin of hers if I don't. Of course I'm paying my tab today. My commissioner paid quite hefty sum for these, you know? Now then! 
<sighs> That's the good stuff. Come down, my darling ghost. Even if your taste for alcohol has sullied by that fine wine you've been drinking, be rude not to accept it. I've been so generously paid for it. Ah, I knew you'd come around. What did you want to tell me for one of your stories? <laughs> An intriguing idea. Story for a story. There's a proposal that fits you. I think that's quite a fine idea. Let's shake on it. And now I've got your hand. Well, a handshake isn't enough. You know me too well. You know I crave stories that are just as much as I crave excitement. And you particularly, my dear, have the best stories. So... Kiss to your hand, peace of my heart, so that you choose truly incredible stories to tell me. Hmm, if I could see under that hood and mask of yours right now, I'd say you're blushing. R2? You are. The more you deny it, the more I'm convinced that you have the most adorable expression under there. But anyways, a deal is a deal. Tell me a story, my darling ghost. Make it a truly amazing one, and I'll tell you an amazing story in return. Just like old times. <laughs>